Okay, the results from New Jersey State Senate District 3. What's the big deal, right? Just a state Senate district? No, this is a huge deal. The Democrat, he wasn't just a state senator. He was the president of the state Senate, had been there for decades, and he lost to Ed Durr, a truck driver for Ray Moore and Flanagan, the Republican. He, he won, and it's amazing, local news. They certainly weren't expecting this. A truck driver with no prior political experience has defeated one of the most powerful Democrats in New Jersey. We'll talk about David versus Goliath. For more than 10 years, Steve Sweeney has sat on the state Senate throne. Come January, he's going to be gone. Yep, and there's Sweeney. I mean, he was as uh, he was basically right up there with the governor. OK, a very, very powerful figure. Uh, but that has totally changed because Ed Durr, a truck driver who is very passionate about his community and about his country, he put in a very modest amount of money and knocked off an incumbent. Ed Durr, welcome to uh, Newsmax. Welcome back. How are you? And congratulations. Well, thank you for having me, Greg. Uh, it's uh, been a whirlwind of emotions for these last few nights. Well, good for you. Good for you. Hey, um, by the way, just can you clarify how much money did you spend on this campaign? There have been varying estimates as well as low as two dollars, as much as fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> how much did you spend? It was roughly around sixty five, seventy five hundred dollars. OK, that's not a lot of money at all. So number one, I, th I beg to differ. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Hey, you're going to Trenton. And uh, there's money rolling around all over the place. And the guy you beat, Mr. Sweeney, uh, he spent. Well, do you know how much he spent to beat uh, to uh, <laughs> to lose to you? I I was told 1.8 million dollars. Okay, that's sir respect. That's a lot of money. Again, congratulations. When you got in this race, did you get in it to win it, or did you get in it to prove a point? Some people do that. They just say, I want to run and uh, see what happens. Did you get in this race to win it? Absolutely. I, I wouldn't have taken on the challenge if I didn't believe I could win. I looked at the numbers and I knew it could be done if I just motivated the voters. And what was your issue? Uh, what was and, and what is your top priority now that you're going to the state capitol, uh, now that you're going to be, you know, have a measure of power? What do you want to do? It wasn't my issue. It was the issue that Governor Murphy gave the people. He locked them down. He told them they couldn't go to church. He told them they couldn't go to stores. He told them that they couldn't have a job. It was their rights. The issue was the rights, inalienable rights, and he took it away from them. And Senator Sweeney chose not to challenge Governor Murphy on these mandates and executive orders, and the people spoke, and I gave them the voice. Your commercial, uh, your spot that I believe ran on TV, it's very simple, but it's very powerful at the same time. Uh, we're going to show the folks, okay? Let's, uh, let's see this, this ad that has now gone mega viral. Let's take a look. Hello, my name is Edward Durr. I'm running for New Jersey State Senate. I've lived here all my life, raising my three kids. In 2020, my opponent sat by and watched as Governor Murphy forced nursing homes to take in COVID-19 patients resulting in the death of over 8,000 of our seniors. He remained silent as Governor Murphy, with his lockdown and mandates, forced the closing of over one-third of our small businesses, costing New Jersey family thousands of jobs. He has done nothing as seven out of every 10 moves are leaving the state, placing a heavier burden on those of us who remain. The Senate President has spent 20 years in Trenton Higher taxes, increasing debt, and a rising cost of living. We deserve better. New Jersey, it's time for a change. So together, let's end single party rule. Vote for me, Edward Dare, for Senate. It's really great. It's really great. May not be the slickest uh, ad from uh, you know Madison Avenue, but it's so genuine. How do people respond? A lot of people liked it. it you know, it was a friend of mine, Nick DeSilvio, who won county commissioner. His uh, nephew, Nick Bennett, uh, 
we ca he came over one Sunday afternoon and we just kind of uh, ad-libbed, wrote the script real quick and just went out and did the video. Well, it's something else. Um, by the way, are you going to be able to, um, some, in some, I don't know how it works in Trenton. Is it part-time? Is it full-time? Will you continue to drive a truck or will you be a full-time lawmaker? Uh, Trent, uh, Trenton's legislatures are considered part-time. I've already discussed this with my boss that given the fact that uh, I'm going to need to be up there certain days, I'll probably be switching back to night work. I'm going to continue to drive. Uh, Trenton doesn't offer insurance with their pay, so I need insurance, and that's the bottom line. I'm going to work in the day and fight for the people of New Jersey and work at night and pay my bills. Just like everybody else does, they have to find a way. Hey, uh, you know, when you enter politics, they go through your uh, your background, your personal life, and uh, they try to make an issue out of anything. <laughs> For you, it came after the election, and this is what the Washington Post said. It's kind of a total joke. Look at this. Sir, you're a racist. And then I saw what you said on social media. I've said this stuff on television, by the way. You're totally within your rights, and you're, these are totally valid observations. The China virus saying Kamala Harris got her job because of her ethnicity and her gender. Uh, that's a, I happen to agree, and I've happened to have said so publicly. Any reaction to that? Uh, were you expecting that kind of uh, treatment? I, it, part, it comes with the territory. What are your thoughts? Well, clearly I wasn't expecting that kind of backlash. Uh, uh, I am not a racist. And this, this is just an attempt by the leftist media to divert and use a diversionary tactic. Uh, it, this election was about the mandates. It was a referendum on Governor Murphy and his leftist policies. And they're just trying to put me in a box and tell the people, oh, look, look over here and distract them. This is the people's voice has spoken, and they're going to continue to speak. This is just the beginning. What would your advice be to anybody watching who's tempted to get involved in public service? I mean, um, what you did was, uh, was amazing. Would you recommend it to others? Well, I, everybody has to choose their own fate. And I mean, if you truly have a passion for it and a you know, willingness to work hard, Absolutely. You find the right people to guide you because I have wonderful people around me. I have Jackie Vigilante, my county chair, Steve Cush, our political director. I have my good friends, you know, Nick DeSilvio and Chris Conowell, the one county commissioner. I have my running mates who ran with me, Beth Ann McCarthy Patrick and Beth Sawyer. And then John Sammons, who is a friend also, who won uh, our sheriffs. And okay. he's the first African American who ever won sheriff in Gloucester County. Edward Durr. Amazing accomplishment. Uh, good luck in the future. Please stay in touch. We'd love to have you back on Newsmax. Uh, State Senator-elect Ed Durr, all the best, sir. Well, thank you very much. And if anybody else wants to find out more about me, they can go to edthetrucker.com, and they can uh, check things out, even get a hat like this. <laughs> very cool. Edthetrucker.com. Wow, Big Ed. <laughs> that's, uh, that's an awesome hat. Thank you, sir, and we'll be right back.